review my Samsung DMT 800 series dishwasher. I believe it's a DSX, 800 DSX, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll put that in the title. Um, so, so far, I've had it only a couple of days, and this is my third time running it. Um, I have tried a couple different settings, so um, I'm testing it out. It looks really pretty. It's got a nice stainless finish. It's very easily fingerprinted, though, and kind of hard to keep clean. Um, I did use some stainless steel polish on it, which helped, um, so you have to buy a special cleaner for that. And I've also heard that Lemon Pledge is even better than that. So I haven't tried that yet, though. And I bought it because it matches my microwave and my stove. It does not match my refrigerator, though. Um, so I do have to get a new one of those eventually. But I decided to go ahead because my KitchenAid was about seven years old maybe eight years old I can't I'm not sure but somewhere around there and I thought my dishes are starting to turn white um, so I better get a new one before this thing breaks down while I'm at buying appliances while I'm having a little bit of buyer's remorse because my KitchenAid was even at the age it was still better than this um, so far like I said, I haven't tried everything. It does, on the front, have the different wash cycles. It tells you um, wash, rinse, um, dry, and then it tells you done only for 10 minutes. That the done light will light up. Um, it has sanitized. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to zoom in on that because we'll get steamed out if I put the camera up there. Um, it has sanitize, half load, which you have to wash on the bottom, storm wash, which is a special little um, jet head that's in there that will spray your pot or pan that's very dirty and clean it. And I'll talk to you about that in a second. And then you have delay start, heavy, um, smart auto, which is what I'm trying now, along with the sanitize. It has pots and pans, quick wash, and delicate. Um, and normal. What I used it on the previous two times was normal. I used normal the first time without the sanitized wash and it was okay but there was some pieces of a gratin potato that I left little pieces in there intentionally to see if the hard food disposer would work and apparently not so good because they were still in the bottom of the dishwasher when I was done and also my a gratin potato casserole dish was still dirty so I ran it through a second wash using the normal cycle this time I used sanitize and I used the storm wash on the dish so you place the dish and I have to use a flashlight so you can see in there and I don't know if you can see that little red thing it's a storm wash that's your storm wash center and on these two red, you keep the pot between the two red, um, that's a zone, they call it, the, the storm wash zone. And what's going to happen is that thing is going to blast water at the pot to clean it. Um, oh, look, there's still the au gratin potatoes in there. And this is the third washing. And it has not gotten rid of that au gratin potato. Um, that should have been pulverized and spit out by now. I left it in there intentionally to see if it would ever go away. Um, apparently not. So, and that is the third wash with the El Gran potatoes. The dish I actually had to scrub by hand because it did not come clean. Um, I noticed that this one does hold more place settings. I believe it's... Uh, 12 or 14 but you have to put them in there a certain way and the little bars are spaced very close together so your plates are really close together I don't know how clean they'll get being that close together um, also they're kind of hard to get in there they don't load in well and you have to be careful which way you load them because those little bars 
are like at an angle so I don't I'm not too sure about that the baskets have those little lids and they're a split basket so you can take them out take one out if you have more dishes that you want to stick in there and you don't have a lot of silverware but the baskets are kind of the lids on them are worthless to me my KitchenAid did not have those and I had fantastically clean dishes and silverware um, I use rinse aid in the dispenser and that seems to work well it has a stainless steel interior and it has an adjustable top shelf but the adjustables are plastic so I've been reading reviews that a lot of people's are breaking I don't know how long mine will last and I just accidentally hit something and hopefully it doesn't shut off um, the top rack is staggered this side is up higher this side is lower sorry I'm gonna back you up didn't mean to do that um, and when you put the dishes in and I read the loading manual and if unless you have a perfect exact matching set of dishes that's not gonna fly and the system here for putting your dishes in is not that great um, the bowls don't angle like they're supposed to um, these things one is way down one is up high um, you can adjust the angles of these on these things by moving the clip so that you get the cup angle of the little bars that can be adjusted they do have the um, the wine glass um, holder so that your wine glasses don't shake around um, or whatever you want to put in there that's delicate that you don't want to move it around my other dishwasher didn't have that and I washed wine glasses and they never broke but um, I guess it's supposed to be a nice thing everything in it is stainless steel and then it's a nylon basket it's supposed to be durable but everything else is plastic including the um, the washer blades are not stainless steel on either rack I noticed none of the dishwashers have that um, and most of them that I looked at in the store did seem to have an awful lot of plastic you can remove some of the tines and I'm not sure if the top rack removes but I know the bottom one does this one may remove right here as I see some clips um, but like I said I just got this thing and you know so far and this cycle is almost done and here's my dishes and I see that there are actually some little spots of stuff on it so I got rid of a perfectly good dishwasher that was seven or eight years old that did just as good of a job as this and this dishwasher was eight hundred dollars got it on sale for seven nineteen plus the rebate at Lowe's and I expected it to do a much better job than this so so far I am a little disappointed I won't say I'm completely disappointed because it's I haven't tried everything yet but I'm thinking um, that I'm always this time I'm trying the smart auto wash like I said I used the normal washes last time normal wash without anything and then normal wash with sanitize and then storm wash now I'm trying the smart auto with the sanitize um, next I'll try the heavy and then I will try the quick wash and the pots and pans and see how that works but I am thinking that it's always going to have to be on the heavy wash cycle um, as to where my my KitchenAid washed everything almost always on the normal cycle no matter how dirty it was it still came out sparkly clean so um, it's it's okay I think it's more money than it's worth so far so anyway that is my review so far I will probably do a follow-up review on this another thing is this basket trying to plug it in you have to like it doesn't see I'm pushing it in the door won't close so that means it's not pushed in there's nothing in the way of the bottom of it so I have to 
They actually have to jiggle it around to get it to plug in. It's still not. It should just glide right in. And it's not doing that there. You actually have to jiggle it around to get it to plug into the water source for the jet so that it will go all the way back and go. The, on the plus side, it's going to start again. And you can listen to it. That's the dishwasher running. It's extremely quiet. So in that aspect, it's fabulous because you can watch TV, you can go to sleep, you don't need to worry about the loud, the, the loud dishwasher. My KitchenAid wasn't loud when I first got it, but it got gradually louder over the years, which was another reason why I wanted to replace it. Not necessarily because just the loudness, but because of the, the white film that was starting to happen to my dishes. But I was expecting that seven, eight years later, the dishwashers would have been much better than even that. So I was, you know, thinking, man, my dishes are going to be clean. And so far, I haven't got that. So anyway, that's my review of my Samsung dishwasher. And I will do a follow-up of this after I wash a few more loads. Um, to let you know, but I want to let you know right away my first feelings about this thing. Alright, thank you so much. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos and reviews. I'm also going to review my Samsung induction stove. And I'll give you a review on that and my Samsung microwave. And those might be a little better reviews. <laughs> so thank you so much and come back soon.